Okay, hello everyone. Uh, so today we're going to do lab number two and I'm going to show you uh, the steps that you need to do uh, for this particular lab. So this lab, uh, we're going to talk about jogging the robot uh, joints. Um, so this is the same robot that I uh, used from the uh, previous uh, lab, which was lab number one. So it's a R2000ID slash 165FH. Okay, so the first thing we need is uh, we need to have a uh, pointing needle. Uh, the needle we're going to use that for uh, the lab three as well. So we're going to save this lab and then we're going to use the same for our lab number three. Okay, so let's uh, bring in the needle and uh, the needle was posted in your uh, slate. So you can actually uh, take it from uh, the slate and then follow the steps that I'm going to show you. So for the needle, we're going to go to uh, fixtures uh, and uh, you select the fixtures here on the right side, right click, add fixture, and then we're going to select a single CAD file. And I saved mine under the industrial robotics course folder and CAD models, and here it is. It's called TCP needle uh, .igs. So I'm going to press open and you can't see it, uh, there you go. So it's right at the top there. So now we can manipulate this. We can use our mouse and we can drag it down and we can also drag it to the X direction and uh, the Y direction. So whenever you have this, uh, good thing is uh, to always try to view it from different orientations. So for example, the front view, you can see that it's uh, it's way above the surface, so let's uh, bring this down with usually a hand. And when I do that, I can see here that uh, the number is changing. So uh, let's try zero here for the Z and click on apply. Let's see what that does. Um, so it looks like uh, zero is actually uh, the correct uh, dimension there, right? You can see that it's actually now on the ground. Uh, the next thing we'll do is let's uh, move this maybe closer to where the uh, TCP is and we can change the orientation and move to the Z X direction. And so that, uh, so just rotate it till you get a uh, kind of a good view. Uh, so that everything looks fine here. We can click on now. Okay. So you know what? Let's make Y zero as well. And uh, we leave the uh, X as one five, four, three, it doesn't really matter uh, where you put it as long as you get it close to uh, the, uh, underneath the tip of this uh, tool. Okay, so now we're going to press OK. Now let's uh, go to your flex pendant. Now if you don't have your flex pendant, uh, you can always activate it by going here. Uh, your teach pendant, so you can click on this and select a teach pendant. And your teach pendant should uh, appear. Okay, let's do that again. All right, there we go. So now we have a teach pendant. Uh, so here, the, the few things we need to do is, um, let me uh, zoom in here, rotate this, and keep it uh, the view such that I can see it. So the lab asks us to change the joint uh, approach or the, jog, or the joint uh, programming mode. So we have uh, different types of uh, programming modes. We can go with joint, world, tool, uh, and so on. So for this particular lab, we're supposed to put it in jog, joint or world jogging. Uh, so we're going to try out those two. So let's try the first one, which is called uh, joint jogging. So to change it to jog, uh, joint jogging, you see here there's a uh, icon or there's a key here called coordinate. So we're going to press on this key here. And when you see that, you see it tells you that right now this is tool and it changes the, uh, the location here. You can see it there. If you press it again, now we have user, uh, and then we have joint, and then we have uh, joint uh, frame, and then here we have word, okay? So I'm going to switch this to joint, okay? So right now we're in joint, okay? And now we can uh, change our speed. Our speed is right now 10. But if yours is, uh, let's say, 100, you can uh, change the uh, speed by using the up and down arrow keys here for uh, the speed. So it says a plus percentage, negative percentage. 
So let's say we bring it down to about, uh, you know, probably about 10%. Uh, so the first step is we need to put this uh, uh, right on top. So that's the first position that they want us to put the robot. Okay, so we're going to do that. So I'm going to press my, so again, you can see that this is your Z. So we need to look for the Z key. Uh, this is going to be your X and then that's going to be your Y. Okay, so we need to use the Z key. So we want to go down, so we're going to press negative Z. And you can see it's going down. Uh, at the same time, you can see that this is actually moving joint number three. So I'm going to stop it there. Okay, so now that's my joint number three, right? It says J3. So I also want to move this, uh, you know, I want to move this more out to make it straighter to the needle. So this is going to be a joint number uh, five. So let's use joint number five. Okay, so we have to do the positive. So I'm going to make it straighter and get it in line. Okay, and then stop it. And then I'm going to now use my joint number three. So you have to keep doing this uh, till you get it uh, close. Okay, stop it and joint number five, oops, it's positive five. Okay, so now let's stop it there. And what you can do is put your mouse at the tip and try to zoom in. So now you see that uh, it's not exactly aligned, so we have to uh, zoom in. And now let us try to, uh, you know, let's try to do the uh, coordinates again. Okay, so let's uh, continue, let's uh, try let me try the uh, Z again. Oops. Let it go down. And I'm going to decrease the speed from 5%. Maybe go down to, let's say, 1%. And let's try that. Okay. And let me stop that. And let me try my joint 5. Okay, so you can see we're getting there. It's a little still, still a little bit off, uh, but that's fine. So let's uh, zoom in there and let us try to do that again. So let's try. Oops. Okay, let's try. Joint five. All right, so it's kind of close. You know, you can see that it's almost there. Um, so that's, that's uh, you know, so you, you, you get uh, the picture here. So you want to try and jog it like that. So we're kind of close. And you can try it, uh, you know, you can make it more, you can refine the, uh, the speed. Uh, and then you'll also be able to uh, get it more precise. But uh, you can see that it's pretty close. And uh, I think that's, uh, that's quite good uh, when you're jogging it for now. Okay. All right, so we're going to, uh, that's our first position, okay? Now, for the second position, they want us to change the orientation of our tool, uh, probably more like 90 degrees, and then they want us to uh, position it uh, again at the tip. So to position our tool, to rotate it 90 degrees, here we have to use joint number four, okay, which is this joint. So we're going to use joint number four, and we're going to try to rotate this. We can increase the speed here gradually. So I'm going to increase the speed and stop. All right, so, oops, it's going too fast. All right, so let's uh, try it again. Okay, so that's uh, that's kind of uh, what, that's kind of position we want it to be in. And so now we're going to do the same thing. We have to move the, uh, the tool. So here we want to move the uh, axis number one because we want to move it that side. So let's try. Okay, we can stop. I think the speed is a little bit too much. So let's bring it down maybe to about uh, 5%. All right, so now, now let us try to uh, get it down. So to get it down, that's going to be axis number three. Oops, so let's use this one here. And can rotate it while you're doing that just to make sure and you can zoom in 
okay and then I'm going to stop it and now let's go back to axis number one okay I'm going to stop it and zoom all right so maybe we can do it. all right okay so now let's uh, try bringing it down so we're going to use uh, joint number three okay and you can see we're getting there we're getting close and now let us try uh, joint uh, number uh, four Okay, so now what we need to do is probably we need to move it in. So we're going to use joint number two. All right, we want to pull it a little bit in. So let's try joint number two. Okay, there we go. Okay, so you can see we're getting there with joint number two. Let me de de decrease the speed. Let's make, make it 1%. Now let's try joint number two. All right, there we go. Uh, let me make it fine. Okay, so we're kind of close. Yep, that looks good, right? Just do a quick rotate, or you can see we're kind of off here. So it's always good to rotate and see that uh, you're, you can see here we're kind of off. So now we need to figure out which joint. So I'm going to move joint number two. So I need to move it in. So I need to use this one here. Okay, so let's get it in and keep your speed slow. Till you get it in position. All right, so there you go. It's getting there, and we can stop. Okay, so now we need to move it in. Probably, uh, I need to move it. Uh, I need to rotate uh, my uh, base joint to get it in position. So base joint is one. And so we need to do. Joint one J one and get it slowly there and it's kind of okay. So I'm going to stop there and do a quick rotate. So we're almost there. So you can see it takes a couple of tries uh, before you get it. And so let me now move my joint number two. Uh, let's rotate it, zoom in. Let's try our joint number two. Okay, and stop. Right, so uh, you can see that now we're uh, we're right on top. Right, so uh, maybe you can do a little bit in Z. Okay, so that's that should be good. All right, so that's how you kind of uh, play around with this and make sure you get it in position. Okay, so this is our position number two that the lab report has asked us to put the robot in. All right, so um, now let's do the last position. So we have to basically rotate the two going back the other way. Um, so what we can do is we can send this robot back to the home position quickly and then it make things a little bit easier for us to reset. So I'm going to hit this tab here called uh, POSN for position. This is a quick way to jog your robot back to home position because you can manually enter the joint uh, coordinates. So here we're going to enter zero for joint one, uh, zero for joint two, zero for joint three, zero for joint four. For joint five, we're going to enter negative 90 because we want the tool to be pointing downwards and joint six is zero. Okay, so then we can click on this move to all right, so now we go back to the uh, home position. Okay, so now we're going to uh, rotate this tool. So you can see here, you can actually do it here as well. So here we have this at 90. If you enter positive 90, uh, it goes upwards, right? So we can't do that. So let's enter negative 90. Okay, and then we can go to joint four because this is joint four. So we can try joint four. Let's say 90 degrees, joint four. Let's see what that does. Okay, so you can see joint four uh, 
kind of puts it exactly at uh, 90 degrees. So let's click on that. And now let's try to jog it uh, using this. So we're going to jog the base joint. Uh, so we're going to move joint one. So we're going to press this. Uh, let's increase the speed. Okay, so I'm just going to rotate. Till I get it in uh, position. Okay, let's increase the speed. Okay, I'm going to stop it. Too fast. Oops, all right. So now let's uh, get it down in uh, Z. So we're going to use our joint uh, number three. So let's go down. So the speed is too much. I'm going to decrease the speed. Let's say we make it about maybe 10% or 5%. Yeah, 5% should be good. So bring it down. Let me zoom in here. Okay, so yeah. So keep changing your speed. Make sure you get the speed correct. Uh, because sometimes if you set that too fast, it's going to move too fast. Okay, so I'm going to stop it here. Okay, so now I need to move it in uh, which joint should I move. So if I look at this, I need to move the base joint to get it in position. So I'm going to move my joint one. There we go. So get it in position. And now let's do joint uh, three, get it uh, and stop. So I'm just going to zoom in. So you can see it's uh, when you zoom in, it kind of it's kind of off. All right, so that's why you need to uh, try this out. So here we need to move. Uh, uh, I need to move it front. So here I need to use joint. Uh, so joint number three. Okay. So we're going to actually. You know what? Let's see. That's joint one, joint two, joint three. Um, so yeah. So we need to move. Uh, yep. Joint. So actually, you know what? Let's do joint one. Oh, we want to move it front, so we need to move joint three. Okay, so let's hit joint three. Okay, let me zoom in. And so now we need to move joint number four. So joint number four. And uh, let's, uh, okay, so a little bit off, so let me get it down. Okay, stop. And have a look at this. So let us see which one will work here. So let's try joint uh, five. Okay, so you can see joint five is getting a bit uh, close. And let me now move it upwards. Okay, so there you can see, I'm kind of getting close. So let's try joint one, stop. Okay, so let's try. Okay, so I'm going to try joint uh, one. Uh, touch it. All right, there we go. So you can see joint one is getting it uh, close. And we can jo move joint five. Okay, and then bring it up. Okay, and now let's try joint uh, three. Oh, sorry, joint four. Okay, so you keep uh, doing that. And uh, let me uh, quickly do this. So just going to so you keep practicing with that and uh, then you get it to the right position okay so after a couple of tries uh, you know this is what I get it I get it to the position number three that uh, the uh, lab report asks us to uh, put it in okay so that's how we do it in job uh, joint mode all right or joint uh, jogging so this is all about giving you some practice
Okay, so now before we do the world, let's uh, let us set this position back to zero. So I'm going to hit position and we're going to set everything here to zero except joint five. So joint one, joint two, joint three, joint four, zero. Joint five, we're going to enter negative 90 and joint six is zero. So click on move to. Okay, so now we're in home position, right? So we're in home position. So now they want us to try the world uh, uh, jogging method or jog jogging uh, mode. So we can just switch to uh, world. So we, again, select this uh, coordinate key and keep uh, switching that till you get world. See here it says world. So now we can uh, move it in world. So let's try world. So let's try... So with world, you see you have your X, Y, and Z. So it's a lot easier. So if you move uh, a negative uh, X, it's going to move front. If you move positive X, it will move to the back. If you move positive Y, which is your joint two, it will move uh, to the uh, left. Uh, because you have to imagine you're standing at the back of the robot. You have to use the right hand rule. And if you, uh, if you hit uh, negative Y, it's going to go to the right. Okay. For Z, Negative Z is going down, positive Z is going up. Okay, so here I'm going to hit the uh, positive, uh, sorry, negative Z. And you can see that uh, it goes straight down. Because here, world is more like a linear movement. Uh, the robot tends to move uh, in a linear direction. Okay, so it's a lot easier to use than the uh, joint. So you can see I'm just getting a close and I'm going to uh, stop. Right, so when I zoom in, you can see I'm almost there. So I'm just going to move maybe a little bit more. All right, stop. Okay, and uh, probably I need to move it a little bit in positive uh, X. So I'm going to put my speed in fine and maybe move it in positive X. All right, there we go. Okay, so you can see we're exactly on top. Okay, so that is our uh, first position that we want it to be in. Okay, so we want it to be in this position, um, and when we're doing that in uh, world uh, jogging. Okay, so now let us uh, rotate this about our axis number uh, four. So we're going to move this about axis number four to get it to the uh, second position that uh, we have to put it in for our lab. So let's try moving axis number four. Let's increase the uh, speed. So maybe about uh, five. Now let's try it. So you can see my axis number four is rotating uh, about that point. So we're going to get it to somewhere about close to 90 degrees uh, because that's what the uh, picture shows. So let's get it close to about 90 degrees. Okay. And let's just... Uh, that okay so it's we're almost there okay and then I'm going to uh, stop it there all right okay so let's just zoom in you can see even though we didn't change anything it's almost perfect it's uh, perfectly uh, where we want it to be Right, so in world, you can see that the world uh, jogging approach is a lot easier. Okay, so now we are already in this yeah, second position. Now, if we had to do this in the joint jogging, it would have taken us a uh, more number of steps to get there. Okay, so now we are in uh, this. This is a second uh, picture that uh, the lab wants us to set the robot in. So we're already there. So now let's do the opposite. So we know that uh, we have to job joint uh, number four. So let us uh, do the other position, which is the second. So we're going to hit the negative joint axis. I'm going to speed it up a little bit and uh, to get it to that position. And I'm going to stop it and let's, let me decrease the speed. Probably about uh, four and now I'll just keep doing it till we get it to uh, position. Okay, so I'm going to stop it. 
and you can see that uh, we're kind of uh, where we have to be with uh, the uh, picture number three, right? Third position. Okay, so I'm going to stop that. And so now we're in uh, the uh, picture number three. So that's where the robot has to be. So that's the difference between joint jogging and uh, world jogging. Okay, so hopefully now you understand the difference and um, the best way to try this out is to practice. All right, so this is our lab number two. So use this video uh, for your lab number two. Okay, so I'm going to stop here and I'm going to uh, post your lab number three. Make sure you save this uh, station as lab number two because we're going to use uh, this for your lab number three as well. So before we do anything, I'm going to hit File, uh, Save, Lab 1 as, and I'm going to call this uh, Lab Number 2. And, uh, okay, it looks like the one already exists, so I'm just going to call my Lab Number 2.1. 2. Uh, or underscore 1. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to uh, stop here, and uh, I'll see you in lab number uh, three.